Hello, my name is Kyle Jarris, and I'm the Education Director at the Academy of Model Aeronautics. I'm glad you found this quick project, and I know you're going to have a great time and learn a lot. Without further ado, enjoy this quick project. All right, quick projects, paper helicopter edition. These are a lot of fun. We're gonna go through really quickly how to build these and uh, be sure to experiment at home. You could try different sizes of paper, uh, different thicknesses or weights of paper, uh, and you can even add different weights onto uh, the bottom of these helicopters as well. Uh, everything from like a BB to a paper clip. Uh, tape those on and you'll have fun. So the things you'll need for this, uh, a pair of scissors, uh, an X-Acto blade if you feel more comfortable with that, but make sure you've got parental permission there. Um, you'll need uh, some crayons or markers to uh, identify your helicopters, um, and you'll need some tape. Uh, otherwise, you can do this just with any piece of paper you have lying about, or we have our instructions and templates available online as well. So uh, let's get started. So I printed out the template. We've got the instructions here, and it says basically, cut these out. There's nine of them on this first template and we're going to just cut out one of these. The nice thing, as I said, is uh, you can print out as many of these as you like. Kind of heard from uh, some individuals who have printed out a bunch of these and um, they've thrown them out of like uh, down stairwells or uh, thrown them out of second stories on houses and uh, they do <laughs> really well. And especially if there's a little bit of a breeze going, sometimes you can see which way the wind is blowing. Uh, it'll cause an updraft um, and it'll uh, have a lot of fun with that uh, in terms of how they fly and watching them go up in the air, up, up and away instead of down. So, you know, play with that. So I'm gonna cut out right here. These are gonna be the rotors on our helicopter. And then all you need to do is cut here and cut here. Not too tricky. So once you get to this point, you want to make sure that you've got your name on here. I'm going to put Kyle J. And uh, if you want, feel free to, to decorate this, color them, have fun, um, and see how that changes the flight characteristics, because sometimes it can. All right, so we're going to fold along A, B, and C. So there's line A. Open that up. Here's line B, I'm just folding over. It doesn't have to be super precise. It's going to work either way. There we are. And then we've got this fold right here, fold C. Bring that up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of tape. This serves two purposes. One, it keeps this tail from you know being outside and non-aerodynamic. Um, so this is going to cut down on some of the drag, and it also adds just a little bit of weight to the bottom of this, which will help it fly a little. Seems a little counterintuitive to add weight to something you're trying to fly, but uh, sometimes it helps. So here, I'm going to fold one one way and one the other. There we are. And uh, that's it. That's all you have to do. Very quick and easy process. Uh, once again, it gives you a lot of opportunities to explore different ways to fly these, different sizes, different types, and different weights at the bottom. So you try it out and see how they work at home. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time with that quick project. We have a ton more content available, so be sure to check out the website, amaflightschool.org and modelaircraft.org both of which have a plethora of resources. Until next time, we'll see y'all later, keep flying.